So, in this video, we got Noah back in the studio. I've, Not that you I've left. I've been here since You've been the last here video. since the last video. Okay, fair enough. But, Same so what are we issue. talking about today? I would like to show you something because I actually own the world's fastest charging AirPods. Wow. And I would like to give you a demo of that right now. So, I have some first generation AirPods. I got these in June of 2017. So, almost so two years they're ago. They're almost two years old at this point. And they weren't always like this, but as of late, they have become the world's fastest charging AirPods. And I'd like to show that to you right now. So, what I'm going to do, these AirPods have been just playing some music for a while. Wait, do I want to? Let me get a close up so I can really really yes. see what this is all oh, yeah, about. Oh yeah, I need to show the screen as well, the, the battery levels yeah, and yeah, such. Yeah. I'll be the cameraman. Oh boy. Okay, so the AirPods, I'm just gonna put them in the case for one second. Okay, so 24% and 46, 47%. So you can see that they're pretty low, decently low, right? Definitely not 100%, okay. So again, these are the world's fastest charging AirPods. I'm gonna close the case for five seconds and let's see how they do. One, two, three, four, five. Do you think they're fully charged yet? I doubt it. I doubt it too. Let's see. If they, there we go. What the heck? No would way. You, would you look at that 96? And you know what? It usually takes them 10 seconds to fully charge, but there you go, 96% charged on the AirPods. And I'll show you if I, if I pull one out, you can see 97%, 97%. So there you have it, five seconds to charge what? the world's fastest charging AirPods. You can't beat it. <laughs> right, let's do some analysis here <laughs> so that this video has somewhat of a point. <laughs> okay, so what is the point of this demonstration? The point of this demonstration, beyond just bragging about how fast my <laughs> AirPods charge, which is not a good thing, by the way. Yeah, no. <laughs> is that after less than two years of having the AirPods, the batteries are significantly worse than they were before, and that is something that everyone should know before they buy AirPods. Let's talk about how long they last. I'll pull out my AirPods, because I got these. We've, we both have Gen 1 AirPods. Um, so I got these in December. So the battery... I guess it's about five months, but I haven't noticed any decrease in the battery yeah. life. So I can usually go, the longest that I have ever used these continuously was like probably three hours and I was down to like 20%. So for mine, at this point, they last between an hour and two hours. I will say they're usually closer to two hours, but it depends. And I do use them, like if I'm talking on the phone, I'll often use the AirPods with the microphone and mm -hmm. it's well under an hour if the microphone's really used. Probably like 40 minutes, 40 Ooh. minutes to an hour with the microphone. That's not so good. Not Didn't much. you take it to the Apple store? What did they tell you? I did take it to the Apple store and I, the basic thing was like, yeah, they're out of warranty obviously. And so you're just gonna have to buy new ones. And I don't know. Here's the, like, okay, for $160 plus tax, which mm -hmm. is what we paid for them, yeah. um, for two years of use, and I use these things like almost every day, and I listen to mm -hmm. a ton of music, I'm honestly fine with paying $160 for two years of use out of these AirPods that I use all the time, and I love them. Um, but some people like, and maybe yeah. people don't use them as much as I do, and if you don't use them as often, the battery will take longer to die. Um, you know, but you should know before spending a lot of money that the batteries in these will not be nearly as long lasting as in other Apple products. It's a lot to, to be asking $165 for essentially, the way that Apple is treating this is sort of like a disposable commodity. That's what I told the guy. I was like, if you, you really want me to throw these away after two years and get new ones, he was That's like- That's very wasteful. He was like, don't throw them away, just get new ones. I'm like, so what am I so doing with So what are you gonna do with ones? these? They're just a decoration? It's, it's pretty wasteful for the environment and for your bank account to be getting new ones, which the new ones aren't really that much better. Yeah, they're- If you want it to be better, you need the wireless charging case, and then it's not even, then it's $200, not 160. I'm not saying don't buy them. I'm just saying that you should know so that you can make an informed yeah. decision. Be prepared to replace your AirPods. After two years. Or, or deal with bad battery life. I mean, you, they still work. We actually did a test because one of the things that I noticed with the ear pods that ship with an iPhone is that over the time, like for my iPhone 7, I had the same, I used the same earbuds for two years and the sound degradation was significant. 
so like when I got my iPhone XS, I put in the, the earbuds that came with it and I was like, oh my gosh, they sound so much better. They're literally the same. There's no difference mm-hmm. between them. But the new ones sounded a lot better. The sound quality, we tried to, we did a test with these things. Um, mine being five months old and Noah's being two years old, they sound exactly the same. Yeah. So the battery life has degraded, but the sound quality has not. So that's good. I think I would be more upset if the sound got oh, absolutely, worse. Absolutely. That would make me very mad. Yeah. But I'm still not happy about the battery. So that'll do it for today's video. Thank you for joining us. Um, would you like to give the outro? Uh, I don't know. That's a wrap. <laughs>